मेटाफेज वन ऑफ मियोसिस इन मेटाफेज वन द टेट्रेट्स द होमोलोगस क्रोमोसोम्स विच आर ज्वाइंट विद ईच अदर एंड दे आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टेट्रेट्स टेट्रेट्स आर अलाइंड इन द मिडल एंड दे फॉर्म द मेटाफेज प्लेट while the spindle fibers that emit from the sides from the centrioles they attach to the kinetic cores of the chromosomes uh, one of the kinetic core of one of the homology will be attached to one spindle fiber that emit from uh, from one pole while the second homology will be attached to the microtubules that emit from the centrioles of the other pole so the chromosomes will be arranged on the equatorial plate or the metaphase plate that one of the chromosome will be facing to one of the pole while the other chromosome will be facing towards the other pole if we see in this diagram that chromosomes they have been arranged this is metaphase metaphase 1 in metaphase 1 chromosomes they have been arranged in the middle here homologous chromosomes they are arranged in the middle that is called as a plate metaphase plate and one of the chromosome is face towards one of the pole of the cell while the other chromosome is faced towards the other pole of the cell same is with all the homologous chromosomes and spindles that emit or the microtubules that emit from the centrioles they attach to the kinetic core region of one of the homology while the microtubules are the spindle fibers that emit from the other pole they attach to the centromere or the kinetic core of the other homology metaphase the summary of the metaphase is that the homologous chromosome they align in the middle of the cell performing or forming the metaphase plate in such a way that one of the homology is is facing to one of the pole while the other homology will be facing towards the other pole and the microtubules they will attach to the kinetic core region that is present within the centromere of the chromosomes they attach to the kinetic core region